Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and today I have a very exciting unboxing. If you don't know, Disney Studios is celebrating its 100th anniversary, and Yumi has created these really amazing collectible surprise capsules featuring all sorts of Disney characters and also modern Disney characters, including Pixar characters as well. We have already opened one of them over here on our social media, so if ever you're looking for a sneak peek of the video that's going to be released, be sure to head over to Instagram and also to TikTok to follow along over there to see what we are opening before the video actually releases. So today we're going to be opening the entire, entire box of Series 1. And here are the different characters that we can get. We can get Mickey Mouse, Dory, Woody, Moana, Olaf, Tinkerbell, Simba, Snow White, Monster, Sully from Monsters, Alice in Wonderland, Pinocchio, Stitch, and there are two options for mysteries. So fingers crossed. We get some rare ones today. Each of these little mysteries are very intense. They have several different steps. So I'm not going to waste any time, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and we're gonna go in order. So if you encounter a box, you'll kind of know which one was where. So we're gonna start with our second. And here is a close up of the packaging. It's really beautiful, holographic packaging. And let's open this up. What number one is on the top, let's take a peek. So this has a little scratcher inside of the first step, so let's scratch this off and see what kind of clue we can get. And yes, I am using my goofy statue from one of the last unboxings as my little coin to scratch. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we have some little flowers and those flowers look very familiar. They look like they are from Alice in Wonderland, but let's take a peek at number two and see, I think this is really going to tell us. So this is a little card that you use your warmth of your hands to see. Oh, yep, that definitely looks like Alice's headpiece. And let's see what we've got inside. Okay. So these two stack together like so. Inside we have three mysteries plus a little background. And here is the background that features all the little flowers from Alice. And then step three is you open this and inside is the uh, flooring of your display and triangle sticker that's gonna go on the front of this little capsule. So here is number one. Let's see what's in package number one. Oh my gosh, we have a tiny itty bitty little spill a uh, teacup and it looks like someone hath spilled the tea. <laughs> awesome, I love it. And then next under number two, we have, oh my goodness, it's Cheshire. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So here's the Cheshire Cat. He's looking extremely mischievous. Look at his little, oh my gosh, you can even see his little individual fingers. His mustache is looking fabulous, also known as his whiskers. But oh my gosh, his coloration is so cute. Oh, we love him. Ah, these are adorable. And then, last but certainly not least, we have, oh yes. Alice herself. Oh, it looks like she's gonna be holding the teacup. <laughs> she's holding the teacup. It's spilling out just a little bit. And it also came with this tiny little clear stand to make sure that her feet are stable enough to keep her standing. So it's just a little bit of extra support. And this is what she looks like. Wow, this is super cute. And here is Alice in all of her glory on her little capsule. Wow, she looks so good. I love that they're doing a little bit of alternative animation here. These definitely look very, very Unique. All right, let's move on to our third capsule and see who's inside. Step one, let's get our little scratcher out and see who 
um, what type of clue we can get. Ooh, okay, so this looks like an island scene. So my first gut instinct was that maybe it's Stitch, but then I also saw that we do have Moana, so it could be either of those two. Who do you guys think it would be? Let's see what our number two clue is, because I have a feeling that is really going to give it away. Oh, yeah, my gut instinct was right. That looks like a stitch ear to me. Let's see who. Uh, let's see what our little stitch has. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I did want to mention that anytime we open anything on the channel, if I can find it online, I will place the link down below for you. And, yes, these are linked. So let's see. <gasps> Oh my gosh, one of my most favorite, favorite things from Lilo and Stitch is little tiny, adorable Scrump. And here is Scrump. Scrump is Lilo's little voodoo doll. Or maybe just rag doll. I'm not 100% sure, but here she is looking so adorable. I love Scrump. I think Scrump is such an adorable little addition to that movie. And she is just so very precious. And then number two, let's see who is in or what is in number two. We've got, oh wow, oh my gosh, how cute. So we have a surfboard, so it looks like Stitch is gonna be surfing in this. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, let's open it up and see. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> Yes, so Stitch is going to be surfing. Look at his teeth. Oh my gosh, we live. Also, look how cute his little hand is. Can we do a boop? Boop. <laughs> he looks like he's having the best time. I just love the details of his teeth. These figurines are really, really well painted and very detailed. I understand um, why they have a little bit of a higher price tag because they really are very good quality. My only complaint is that the displays fall apart so easily because you can't really hook the background into the display itself very well. And also these pieces like don't snap together. They just kind of fall apart a bit. So it's a little bit challenging to keep them all together, but man, that is a very, very cute stitch figurine. On to the second row. So let's go ahead and open the fourth box. Oh, this is also a challenging one. So this to me looks a little bit like Neverland, but we also have Dory and Moana, both characters of the sea. So let's see what our next clue brings us. All right, let's see what comes up. Oh, yes, okay, it was Neverland. I thought so. Okay, so we're going to be opening the tiny, tiny queen herself, Tinkerbell. And so here is her little flooring. So here is her stand so far. And let's see what is inside of this container here. Okay, tiny item number one. Let's see. Ooh, a very tiny little thimble, which is very fitting. And Tinkerbell usually always has some sort of some sort of thimble around her. Item number two is, oh yes, a very classic. Spool of thread, another classic item that Tinkerbell seems to always have around for tinkering. And let's see Tinkerbell herself in number three. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Look at those puffy shoes. Girl, okay, by the way, like a couple of years ago at Old Navy, they actually sold slippers that had little Tinkerbell but like puff balls on them and I totally bought them and I still wear them to this day around the house. She looks so, so very adorable. I love the detail. They even added her blue little bow to the back of her top knot. She's looking very sassy and very adorable. Now she does come with a little stand to stabilize her little feet. So let's get her kind of locked in there. There we go. And here she is with her spool and also her thimble. Okay, on to number five. Let's do a little scratcher and see what our clue is. 
Well, I don't think there is any mistaking this. This is definitely the coral, and I have a feeling that we have Dory on our hands. Okay, let's take a little peek and see what this reveals to us. Oh yeah, that looks like a little Dory tail to me. And let's get Dory out and see what she looks like. So I personally am a Finding Dory girl. I much prefer Finding Dory over Finding Nemo. It's just, there's something about that story and I also absolutely love Gerald the Seal from that story. I just think he is so adorable and so cute. Okay, number one, let's see what Dory has to go along with her. Oh! Oh my gosh, she's got um, half of Ariel's uh, top. <laughs> no, she's got a little, Dory has a little clamshell. <laughs> Ariel is running around with half a top on y'all, be careful. <laughs> We've got, oh my gosh. Oh wow, I did not expect this, but we have little Nemo. Oh, he's so precious. So there's his tiny Lucky Finn. Can we give his Lucky Finn a high five? Boop. And here he's looking so happy. And then there is his details. Isn't his details just beautiful with all of like the little tiny lines? Oh my gosh, they do such a good job at um, giving these characters so much painted detail. And then let's get Dory out and see her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we have little Dory. Dory is in the coral, and she's got her hand up. We'll give her a little high five. Boop! And there she is. Oh my gosh, this has got to be one of my favorites. I just love this movie so much, and I think I might have to re-watch this film very soon. And then here is the Dory and Nemo capsule. Ah! Okay, moving on to number six. Let's see who we have in this exciting series one capsule. Okay, let's get this little scratcher out. Okay, well, I think this very much gives it away. We've got Snow White's cottage, so it looks like we've got the original princess herself for this capsule. Let's see what this clue number two reveals to us. Oh yeah, there is Snow White's little sleeve. And let's see what she has with her for all of her accessories. Oh, her little um, flooring is so pretty. It's got little, it's like a meadow with little pansy flowers. Okay, let's open this capsule. This capsule has a little bit of damage on the box, so hopefully everything inside is okay. Number one is so tiny. Oh my gosh, I know why. <laughs> Number one is, oh, it's even hard to hold on to. World's tiniest, itty bittiest, little tiniest apple. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe they even made that that tiny. That's hilarious. Number two, let's see. Oh, are we going to get a dwarf? <gasps> no! Oh, we have a woodland creature. We've got a little deer to go along, which is so very fitting because, oh my gosh, can Snow White bring in the little furry creatures from the forest when she sings? Very, very appropriate. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Well, well, the little deer's taking a nap right now. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta improvise, y'all. And number three, we've got, oh wow, oh my gosh. Look at our stilettos. Queen. We, we live, we live and breathe. <laughs> and here she is. She looks so very beautiful. I love the little ruffle in her dress. She's holding up her dress. So you can see them pumps, queen, yes. <laughs> she's holding out her hand like she's going to be able to hold this apple, but I swear y'all, it is way, 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 way too small for us to try to attach it to her hand. She looks so very pretty. She's got really beautiful brown eyes. Her little red bow, look at her collar on the back of her dress. The detailing is so lovely. Now, this one is gonna be a bit of a challenge because I'm not sure how to get everything to stand, specifically that little deer, 
but there they are for the time being. The deer kind of leaning against her. Because the capsules are so big, I went ahead and got a second little wooden display for us so we could go ahead and open these and these are still in order. So this is row three and this is row four. So just so you're aware, they are still in order. I made sure of that. So we're halfway through right now. So let's take a peek and see who we have left to get. So we still need to get Mickey Mouse, Woody, Moana, Olaf, Simba, Pinocchio, and possibly two other mysteries. Now I have to say, I'm really hoping that we get Olaf because I did see that he has little snowmies and I am so excited to see those tiny little snowmies. So let's open number six. No, 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 number seven, number seven. Lucky number seven, hopefully. Okay, scratcher time. Let's see who we've got. Stop. Oh my gosh, this looks like the woods from Frozen. Did we really just like put this out into the universe right now? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This hardly ever happens during unboxings. Okay, let's look at clue number two and see if we're getting, oh my gosh, I think we are. We've got Olaf. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay, Olaf is gonna look so, oh my gosh, he's gonna be so cute with his little snowmies. So here is the little Olaf sticker that goes on the front. And then there's his beautiful fall scenery. And let's open up the main capsule and see what we've got. Alrighty, number one. Let's see what Olaf has with him. I'm hoping these are the little snowmies. <gasps> oh! No, these, oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> Yo, look how adorable these tiny little snowmies are. We have a snowmie laying on his tum-tum. Look at him. <laughs> and the other one's sitting on top of him. Oh, wow. These are so very cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm in love. Okay. Let's see what number two is. Oh, number two. Okay, so number two is the sled. And let's put the snow, I mean, I don't know if Olaf's supposed to ride in here, maybe the snowmies. But here is what they look like. Now, I love this color. It's like this really pretty purple sleigh. I'm guessing Olaf might get in there. I'm not 100% on that. We will see. Maybe a both of them. And then here is number three. I believe we have Olaf, yes. <laughs> oh, he looks so happy. I love his little expression. Let's give him a little high five. Boop. And he's looking just so very excited. I think that he can fit in there with the snowmies. Let's try it out. Sorry, I wanted to point this out. I just noticed that they had that really beautiful frozen snowflake on the back of the sled. And Olaf fits in there nicely. And he fits even with his little snowmie friends. And so we will put him. Oh, I'm just now noticing this. Look. The character is actually on the back of these. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad that we just realized this halfway through. Darn it. Well, I will be sure to show you this for the rest of the characters. And so there is Olaf with his little snow me buddies. So I wanted to take you through the backgrounds of these just because I accidentally f didn't realize that they had. They had the character on the back. So there's Dory, Tinkerbell. We've got Alice. Sully, Stitch. Okay, number eight. Okay, time for the scratcher. All right, I think that we have Moana of Mantunui on our hands, so let's check out the little clue number two. I call it the warm thumb clue. Oh yeah, that is the heart of Tafiti right behind that little thumbprint. Oh, and she's got some sand that she is standing in. Here is the background of her little capsule. And number one, let's see her accessory. Ooh! Okay, so we have, I call this her paddle, but now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's her staff? I don't know, you let me know what you think about that. It looks like a paddle. And then number two. Oh my gosh, we have Pua. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we have little baby adorable 
little Pua the pig. Now I have to admit, I wanted so badly for Pua to have such a bigger role in Moana than he did. I think he is one of the cutest little sidekick characters that just absolutely did not get enough scream time. So here is little Pua. Oh, what a sweetheart. And then, ooh, this is big. Oh, I hope she's got some big, beautiful hair going on. We've got, oh my gosh, yes. Oh, she looks so good. We've got Moana and she is in this like really aggressive stance where she's like moving forward. It looks like she's going to be holding her. There we go. Holding her uh, paddle slash staff. And you can even see the wave kind of kick up behind her here. Oh, she looks so cool. And she even is wearing the heart of Tefiti. It's a little bit hard to see. But she is wearing the heart of Tefiti. Her hair looks so very beautiful. You can even see like the wind catching her little sass, sash that she's wearing and even the little details in her skirt of the little flowers and the pattern in her shirt as well. Wow, I am so very impressed by the detailing of this figurine. She also comes with a little stabilizer stand to ensure that she doesn't fall down. And here she is with her little buddy, Pua. <laughs> wow, these are so cool. I wish that they weren't so fragile when it came to like movement. I feel like I'm going to like take one wrong move and everything on that display is gonna come crashing down. Okay, it's scratcher time. So this looks like there's a lot of little wooden toys. I think my best guess at this point is Pinocchio? Fair, I'm not super duper duper familiar with Pinocchio's and like the animated movie. I haven't watched it in a very long time. Okay, and clue number two. Oh yes, okay, yep. It is Pinocchio, because look at that. That's Pinocchio's hat on that clue. Okay, so this looks like we've got Geppetto's workshop. That's kind of what this is looking like. You can see all the little wooden toys and some of the cuckoo clocks and also this, like, really cool wooden chair. And then there he is in the background. Um, there he is on the back. Oh, wow, okay, this has got to be super duper tiny. This is, like, one of the smallest... So this is right up there with the apple. Oh my gosh, okay. The world's teeniest, itty bittiest, tiniest book. <laughs> oh my gosh, number two is Jiminy Cricket himself. I'm so excited. Jiminy Cricket is my favorite, favorite character from Pinocchio and I think he looks so adorable. Look at his little detailed gloved hands. They even have his two-toned shoes, his vest and buttons and collar, even his little buttons on the back of his coat. Wow, so impressive, can we? Wow, he is so adorable. We got Pinocchio and he, oh my gosh, I think he's going to be holding his book. Up There he is holding his book. And gosh, again, guys, the detail of these, they painted these so well. Look at his little details on his little gloves. And he looks very lifelike with the little gleam in his eyes. And he's got some very emo hair. He's been listening to Fallout Boy. <laughs> He's also been taking some very fun, like, modeling lessons, little over-the-shoulder pose. We're here for it, Pinocchio. He also has these little stabilizer guys, so we'll pop him in here so he doesn't fall over. Here is the close-up of Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Okay, we are down to the last three, so we still need Mickey, Woody, Simba, and those two mysteries. So, again, fingers crossed. I would love to see a mystery out of this box. I think that would be so fun. So, let's see who we've got for number 10. This one is a little bit of a mystery to me. Maybe this is Mickey? What do you guys think? Okay, so let's see who, oh, oh, okay, yes, it is Mickey Mouse. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it is Mickey. That one really stumped me. It was really hard to tell like what we were going to get from that just based off of it kind of being, I mean, <laughs> I don't really 
think much about Mickey having a background other than Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, but that didn't really look like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse to me. Maybe I'm incorrect in that. Uh, maybe it is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So here is the background. It's like little rolling hills. There's like Mickey in the back. And let's see who we've got. Okay, so let's open number one. Oh, number one is so tiny. Okay, let's see. <laughs> So we got Mickey as a tourist. So Mickey's got a little camera. And number two is, oh my gosh, it's a balloon. Okay, this is so adorable. <laughs> he looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so let's put his little balloon in his hand and then I don't know where we put his camera, but maybe just like propped up beside him. But oh my gosh, doesn't he look adorable? If you guys have seen my channel before, you may know this, but I am such a sucker for balloons. I just absolutely love them. And I think that he looks so cute with his little balloon. He does have that little stabilizer to help him stand. And here is what he looks like with his little camera and his little balloon. Okay, number 11. All right, so let's scratch this guy and get our first clue. Oh yeah, that looks familiar. Well, this looks to me like we've got Pride Rock. Um, clue, we'll warm it up and see who we've got. Oh yeah, that looks like a little lion's tail to me. So let's get Simba out of here and see what kind of little accessories he's got with him. So here is the background. It's got Pride Rock and then there is little Simba on the back. I love this, this is like, such a classic symbol look. It reminds me of my childhood so much. And so let's see what kind of accessories Simba comes with. Oh my gosh, his number one is so tiny. We have another apple on our hands. Oh no, it's a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a little grub worm. So a little grub worm on a leaf for him in case he gets hungry. And number two is, oh, no way. Oh my gosh, we've got Zazu. Okay, so we, so... Zazu is so underrepresented. Like, we never see stuff with Zazu. This is so cool. So there is little Zazu. And wow, look at the detailing again. They really do such a good job. But doesn't he look so very smug? He's got this, like, smirk on his face. Like, I'm going to catch you doing something naughty, Simba. And, oh no, I'm not sure if he's going to stand up. So he may have to lie down. And then here we have... Yes! <laughs> Young Simba. Young Simba looking like he is prancing. Also, I love that you can see the detail of his little fangs in his mouth. He is super duper cute. And here is the back of him. So let's stand him up. Well, unfortunately, we can't get him to stand. So he's just going to have to lay down and take a nap with his Azu at this moment. Okay, and now we're on to our last capsule. So if this is process of elimination and we do not have any chases, this will be Woody from Toy Story. But there's a good possibility that we could get two different mysteries. So let's see who we have inside. There's three possibilities. Fingers crossed for a mystery, but also I kind of want Woody as well. So I wouldn't be sad if we also got Woody. Okay, this background of this scratcher looks like a little toy kitchen, so I have a feeling that we have Woody. Let's see what the little thumbprint clue has in store for us. Oh, yep, that looks like Woody's sheriff's badge. All right, let's open Woody and get him into his capsule. Okay, so there is the background. It's like a little toy kitchen and a little small children's table. And then there is the Woody on the back with Andy's wallpaper, which we, oh my gosh, who doesn't love Andy's cloud wallpaper? Ooh, again, number one is always so little. Let's see who we have or what we have. <gasps> Stop it. Oh my gosh, we got Forky. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, is this my favorite? I love Forky so much. I think he's so funny. So here we have Forky with his little pipe cleaner hands. Give him a hello. Let's give him a high five. Boop. He's got even his little rainbow on his foot. Does his feet say, stop it. His feet say Bonnie. Whoa, that detail though. Oh my gosh, I love it. I am obsessed. Okay, number two. 
Let's see what we've got inside. Oh, cute. Okay, so we have like a little children's like alphabet block. But what's really cool, one side says T and one side says S, obviously for Toy Story. There's an apple on one side and also a little pig on the other. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then let's get Woody out and see what he looks like. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at how adorable he looks. So he's got really, really fun cowboy boots on. You can see his doll-like features, like with the stitching in his knees. He's looking very lanky. He's got like his classic stance going on. You can even see his little pull string in the back. He's got little spurs. They have done such a great job. Yumi, I am so impressed with these little capsules. So there we have it, the last capsule of the box. Some of the pieces have already fallen off, but I would love to know which one of these is your favorite. Obviously, I'm loving Forky, Pua, the little Snowmies, and of course, Dory, and obviously, especially this little construction hard hat from Monsters Incorporated. You'll have to let me know down below which one you really enjoyed. And if you're interested in seeing more of these, let me know because I hear that a series two is coming out very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below for lots more really fun mystery unboxings. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. See you in the next video. TTFN, bye.